that, Steve, whenever you are. Thanks. Okay, call to order. Regular meeting. The dam authority. Um, agenda, additions or deletions. I'd like to add two. Well, actually, it would be one. It's uh, a, a budget discussion of whatever items we're looking at for 2023. And we can make that number three. 2022 or 23? 23. We're already set for 22. Okay, I thought you said 20. Yeah, we're all done for 22. Right. This will be for the 20, 2023 budget. We need a vote on that. I would that. entertain a motion to accept the agenda as amended. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? We have an agenda. Okay, the minutes are in front of you from the last meeting. Thanks, Allison. Yep, you're welcome. Sorry about the short notice. No problem. There are some links. I've got my uh, iPad here we could I could pull up if you want to see um, they were up and I think his handouts even uh, for the last uh, meeting uh, the safety lock and what it looked like all those photos and links are on the that meeting page from the second correct November. yeah and I could pull them up if anybody wants to look um, Yeah, that the, the completion of the safety bracket, uh, transducer pin replacement, greasing the gate, safety ladder install position, and there were pictures of Jerry in a harness going out over to grease. Um, they had copies of them. Then the conditions of the wooden walkway, there was a <coughs> series of photos that John had provided, and that was in there also. Uh, comment, John. Comment. On page two, when you go halfway down where it says 2021 budget, this might seem like phonics, but on the second line, it says triannual inspection mandate. I think the word appraisal needs to be crossed out because it's an inspection. And the next line below it, how much that inspection would be. The appraisal is a different issue. And well, you could do, um, if you put a slash between inspection and appraisal, that would indicate there are two items. One is the appraisal and one is the inspection. There's a triannual inspection, and then there's an appraisal. So but there's two the left items. November 2nd, we never knew we had to have an appraisal. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Cross, oh, okay, got it. Cross, Cross out appraisal. appraisal out on that first okay. line. Okay, I see what you're saying. The third line changed appraisal to inspection. I can make those corrections. So okay. if you want, so if you want to make a motion to approve them with those corrections stated, is that all you've got, John? Do you have more? That's all I have. I'd entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the uh, regular minutes of November second as amended. I'll okay. second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. We have approved minutes. Communication items. I don't know, Danny. Hearing none, public comment. Are these are these streamed? No. Okay. 
Seeing none, hearing none, old business, nothing in that category gets us down to new business. Number one, Spicer Group. There are two proposals in front of you. Uh, the one is for the triannual inspection, uh, which Spicer did the last time. Uh, and the last time they recommended and we did an underwater inspection also. Uh, so this time Spicer uh, actually in their last triangle they suggested that we wait and do the underwater the following inspection, not this one. Uh, there are, are a couple items um, that the underwater inspection pointed to, um, specifically uh, where the outfall of the water is, the very last bit going over the apron down into Fishtown, those pieces there are, are spalled and uh, they suggested to keep watching them. Uh, they did not recommend immediate action. Uh, so anyway, and they have come through at uh, $2,000. Um, the uh, cutoff line to going out to bids, I think is $2,000. Uh, we can discuss that in a second. The other one is the appraisal. This is this has come about because MMRMA, um, our insurance provider, is calling for a mandated appraisal of the dam. And that's what Spicer says in their document here. This is uh, this is what we see happening. Uh, they're seeking Leland County is seeking uh, insurance coverage of the structure. So they'll be doing a, a process to the value of the dam. And in essence, it would be a replacement cost. And they have uh, put forth uh, a bid of $2,400. Um, and in, in our budget, we anticipated 2500 for the triannual and 3000 for the appraisal. So uh, what they're coming in at is less than what we anticipated going in. Um, obviously, the one, the 2400 is over the line for going out to bids. Um, I guess uh, it's my feeling that Spicer did our inspection the last time. Uh, they stepped away. They pointed us toward an underwater inspection group. And rather than hiring them and then charging us to be overseer, they said, you guys can just go ahead and hire these people directly. So they stepped away and didn't take extra money for doing an overseeing job that they felt they didn't need to do. So I thought that was real upfront from Spicer. Uh, they did the last inspection. Um, you know, I, I, I guess I wouldn't feel out of line suggesting to the county board that we waive bid requirements and go with Spicer. They, they've been doing this inspection. They've done work on the dam, and, and we had a sinkhole uh, early on, uh, maybe three, four years after the dam was installed. Spicer came in, did the engineering work oversaw the physical work to be done uh, all came in under budget it was uh, they've done a really nice job right on through here uh, anyway i guess that was my spiel and i look forward to your comments i share i share your your thoughts there spicer is a very good group they know our dam they've done our inspections before that last report it was really thorough didn't come in within a year or something, but that was one of the best reports I've ever read. And uh, I'm satisfied with both of these, and I'm in favor of moving this forward to the board. 
Um, I've got a couple questions. Um, well, one question, one comment. My, my understanding of professional services is you don't have to bid professional when you contract for professional services, engineering services, unless there's something specific in the county regulations that would require that. Um, it, it, it's not like a construction construction project. Um, You're right. Yeah. All we got to do is take it in front of the board. Correct. And say so, we don't have to sole source this. This is an engineering it, service. It, it, yeah, it's not a sole source. It's an engineering contract with professional Good service. words, yeah. Just like you wouldn't have to bid a, a lawyer's, you wouldn't have to bid a lawyer's, a lawyer's work. Um, the other question is, in the um, damn value determination, they, it looks like they excluded appreciated value. Um, I don't know if that's a requirement from our insurance company or not, but I see that it's excluded from the contract. So if we don't need it for our insurance company, it's probably fine, but if the insurance company wants uh, depreciated value, then um, we would have to add that service as well. But in general, I support um, John's comment. I've worked with Spicer before. They've always been very professional and they do high quality work. So you want a motion to us? Yeah, and I think we could we could phrase uh, uh, we could phrase the going out to bid part any um, big requirement and that would cover the possibility that the county board of commissioners would still want us to go out to bid even though it's not something that we would need to do from a professional standpoint the county board of commissioners over first drink yes and the they they might disregard that standard and still demand it. So it would be a, I'd entertain a motion. I'll make that motion and it'll be two parts. I make a motion that we accept the bid for our triannual inspection from Spicer dated February 7th. 2022 and forward that to the Board of Commissioners for approval. Do you want another motion for the other one or should we vote on that one? Yeah, I, you could, well, might as well separate them out, I guess. I'll, I'll second that motion. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? I'll also make a motion that we hire the Spicer Group for the dam value determination that we have to do per their letter dated February 7th, 2022. And I'm going to include that for 2,400 bucks. Do you want to see that to exceed $2,400? Correct. I'll second that. We should, we should have a comment about the bid process because the county commissioners mm -hmm. could possibly want us to go out to bid even though, as Garth pointed out, uh, it's not. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't put that in a motion, but I like your idea of a comment that the dam authority and waive any. The dam authority recommends that we waive. What is the word? We waive going out for bids because this is an engineering company, and they're also very familiar with our dam, and you aren't going to get it any cheaper. So, is that going to be? added on 
<laughs> it's not a part of the motion. It's no. not a part of the motion. Well, if we vote, vote on the second one? one? Well, we have not voted on the second. We need to have it in the motion that we are recommending this. Um, you can add it to the end of the not to exceed the $2,400 and waive the bid process. And waive the bid request process. Request that, that's real good. Keep it at that. Yeah, it's simple. Are we good on the motion? Second. There's a support. Support on the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay, we have a recommendation to the County Board of Commissioners for both of the Spicer and that's the way it's worded, right, Allison? Recommendation to the County Board of Commissioners? It's going to be a recommendation, correct? Recommendation. Are you going to present this? Okay. Here. These are nice quotes. I really, really, really like them. Okay, it brings us to the safety ladder discussion. Jerry has drawings. Does anyone have a copy? He has uh, organized this and uh, had this done. And Jerry, why don't you take it? Tell us what we got in front of us. Okay, the uh, CAD drawing uh, was handled by uh, Ace Walding. And as it says on the uh, front sheet, the print side, it says for discussion purposes only, not for construction, which means, of course, you probably all know, um, this is the layout, this is the numbers that uh, Ace Welding gave us, but that means if we seek bids, whoever wants to, uh, they would have to physically go down there and measure themselves. Like I said, everybody's tape measure is a little bit different, you know, so they know how they want to lay it out. Uh, but this is the uh, uh, path or the uh, direction I'd like to see us go, um, which would work for the area that we uh, need to access and how to access it uh, safely. He added on the picture, he added the railings just for, of course, safety purposes to keep uh, OSHA happy with that. Um, so the ladder that uh, the middle picture uh, layout there is uh, that ladder drops, of course, as you can tell, down to the uh, dam pad, the pad itself where the water runs. That will go down, you know, seven and a half feet or whatever, and probably stay a foot above the a foot to a foot and a half above the. Uh, where the water runs or comes across. It's, um, so if we have ice going over, you know, anything that's more than two feet thick is going to be a tough winter, but that's, it wouldn't be that thick because something that thick usually gets caught by the, above the dam until it gets smaller and then it goes underneath the rope and the buoys and then it goes over the dam, so over the gate. It fits inside that uh, wooden door, that, uh, so it's it's not accessible to the public. It's not oh. outside, so that will be inside. That'll be right there as you open the wooden door before you get to our our new wall, water wall that we've had put in a couple years ago uh, by Spicer. Um, you can get to the ladder right there and, and access up which I'm thinking will help us to, with the camera that's on the other side of that dam, we'll be able to reach that easier uh, for maintenance. But uh, anybody need a picture to see where that ladder is going to go? Yeah, I got my pictures that he gave us last time. Yeah. Just the Jerry's hand. Mm -hmm. Kind of squeezed in between the door. And it's 
So I would like to, if you folks are, unless you have a different idea, uh, otherwise this uh, would take care of what we need for safely accessing the gate to increase it. Now we do, we do have uh, money in the budget. We do. Um, as a guesstimate. Um, Ten thousand dollars. That was all we put in there. That was it. <laughs> and it might have been that we didn't have a clear idea as to how this was going to look. Um, you know, and I, I guess <clears throat> uh, I um, want to talk about the procedure that we need to do to go out to bids. So we have this piece of paper and it says only for discussion on the front of it. So where do we go from here to go out to bids? We can go out for bids anytime we want. We don't need authorization. Jerry's gone out for bids for a lot of things, tractor, plow, and whatever. Once the bid comes in, then, then we, we make a recommendation. Then we hash it out and say we got one bid or two bids, no bids. And then see where we are in the budget, right? So I think we just need a motion to go out for bids. Do we need to maybe have in that motion that you and Jerry work with Laurel to get the specifications right because it's going to go out to the whole world through that procedure we do? I was thinking of the same line, but I would rather just have it in part of our discussion that. We agree that that happens because if I'm not available, you have to make another damn motion. I think we should make a motion about for bids, and if everybody's in agreement, just John like and we, Jerry work with Laurel to get the specs. That John and Jerry <laughs> and Laurel will write up some specs. Mm -hmm. I'm concerned about the painting, uh, powder coating. We want to include in that the installation. The type of material, John, excuse me, is also, in, you know, they'd have to weigh. You go stainless or you galvanized or <clears throat> that would be their call and then we could decide if we like that that'll or all not. come but out in the writing of the specs well the and, spec would be and your and your yeah. comment that whoever's going to make a, a bid is going to actually have to be talking with you and the site and you can't just make a bid this is also include the install too and then the install too. And Laurel's pretty good about that, about meeting on site and stuff. But that one page of specs that we got to like 10 items, you got to be there and this and that. So would Ace install too? We'd do that too. They do that too? I would like to see that happen. Yeah, it, one bit. It would be so we make sure that Ace knows that this is coming out. Yeah, I, I can uh, get it to the uh, different people or well if it'll go out through that bit, yeah I forget the name of it but it goes out to the whole world so my motion is brief that we go out for bids to install the safety ladder is that what you're calling to it? build and install build and install fabricate and install the safety yeah, ladder and install safety access ladder. Yeah, so we have a motion are we good on the motion Allison do we have support yeah I'll support it is a motion to uh, go out for bids to fabricate and install this safety ladder. Any discussion? It's understood that John and Jerry and Laurel will hash out the, the Detail. nuts and bolts on it. Anything else? All in favor? Aye. Aye. And opposed? Thanks for your work on this, Jerry. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for your support on this. It like, took three months to get this far. Yeah. <laughs> for four. Yeah. Three years, isn't it? <laughs> Seems like it's time. Anyway, um, what brings us to item number three um, budget discussion. Uh, there were a couple items that I had seen in the minutes there. One was the walkway. Uh, that's um, ending, it's nearing the end of its life. It's a wooden walkway. Um, and then the other thing was a roof leak that um, we've had 
over time, uh, the initial roof leak was fixed within a year of the installation of the dam, and now we have another roof leak. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, because of ponding, ponding issues. Where Go ahead, Jerry. Why don't you flesh well, that? Well, you're, you're on. I just want to add to that that just the leak is from the offset, and there's a pocket where the cement roof, and then it comes up and you know, the higher part of the ponds in that corner and stuff, so they'd have to try to reshape it and then seal it. Yeah, the roof is not the water flat. runs off. It's kind of surprising because you're in the control room and it's concrete yeah. ceiling. You'd think the top would be flat, but for whatever reason, when it was installed, there's there are two different levels. Right. Yeah. And, and there's a right where they're two come together, there's an area where the water can pond. And that's what we've been kind of fighting is the water gradually trickles through a crack. Uh, doesn't pour through, but it comes through. Right, Griffin, and it works its way along. It's the places they sealed years ago, but as you know, cement moves and different things happen, and uh, this is uh, something that we probably should address. I think it's important that we address it. Sooner than later, because it's not causing a lot of problems, but it's no, something but it's that's been nagging at us now for a number of years. Number, yes, sir. Well, we've got a dehumidifier in that room, um, yeah, correct, that runs more than it would because of a leak. Water. So, this is a potential budget item. At one time, you had. An idea of what an idea of a dollar value on it, yeah. and we don't have to have that today. But no, I could, I could go out and get a hold of some roofers again and get an idea. Can you scrounge up a number for us? Sure. So by our next meeting, come I'd back. I'd like to try to budget for twenty-three. With a, yeah. With a guesstimate. Sure. And uh, maybe pad it a little bit so we Always. end up under. Okay. Cool. And anybody that wants to help Jerry along with that is welcome and can kind of kibitz or whatever. Any comments, more comments on the roof situation? That brings us to the walkway and we had a John and Bob committee. I don't know if it was a committee, but John and Bob were going to walk it and talk it. So since the last meeting, we were told to go out and look at it again. And Bob and I met and we discussed a few items and he was thinking of, see I was thinking of galvanized lift out sections. He was thinking of aluminum lift out sections made by a dock company. And it was snowing and blowing and freezing and he was going to get with that dock company and I've asked him twice and he hasn't done it yet. Can I add to that? Um, after that time, then I did. I I went ahead and contacted a dock company, a large one that works. I can't think of the name right now. I'm sorry. Um, and he did call me back because he did. He was doing some work down there at the harbor, so he came back. He called me back. Said, Jerry, what we're looking for is that you've seen the aluminum docks with that the grading is looks plastic but it's not there's some material and the new stuff and that's what we were looking at we we're talking about that look at that angle Bob to suggest that too and, but he said for the way it's laid out the way the structure is and what they make how they make the dock it would not the strength wouldn't be there that we're looking for uh, it could be if you wanted to really get into some refabricating or you know adding aluminum to you know and create a, a but he said as it sits to pull what you have and then to try to put something like this in it wouldn't have the strength durability uh, and it's be a major major issue there so uh, didn't elaborate too much he agreed to do a show and tell but I, I got the the gist of what he was saying and um, so now we're back to 
you know, panels, uh, heavier duty, um, and really have to look at it maybe, uh, I don't know, you run and in, get into an engineering thing, it depends on what we want to do. Do we want to so, just tear out the wooden structure or the, the support, you know, and then put in new wooden structure onto the existing beams that we have? That's kind of what we're at. But access to, with, with consideration to uh, the dewatering, to try to get to those 16, 18 tubes at the bottom that are underneath the deck, you know, uh, to try to dewater. But still, the deck is, is, need, is in need of repair, replacement, and the uh, nailers, per se, on the bottom where you run your boards across, as you know, the nailers that are tied to the beam, those are getting rotted. Of course, you know, they're laying flat, water's not, anything's going to eventually rot after it's been, what, 08? Oh, I'm sorry, 06, 05, 506. So that's what we're running into. Well, that's good to know. Uh, again, I looked it over a lot, and I gave everybody pictures. That whole thing can be re rebuilt pretty simple off land and dropped and carried in place, except that we don't want those horizontal two by fours there or two by sixes for the same reason you said we got to have something that lifts out so that we can work on that dam and that's when i came up with the idea of lift out sections expanded metal or whatever and probably out of galvanize and uh <clears throat> that that whole idea is would be great um because we're not going to do it all the time that's, you know, right. But so if we build it where it's going to take two men and a boy to lift it out, that's what you do. But at least we have to, as you know, our consideration is the public, right? Which is constant up there, and and the and railing, especially the vertical, the railing. Um, we talked by four by fours, but there's still it's getting tired. We talked about changing the design, and if we went to anything else, it wouldn't fit in with that present decor, we still should have nice railings with spindles. And again, you can fabricate that all on land and be dropped in place. Like when it time of, comes time right. for someone to dewater the dam and lift it out, they're going to have a crane there anyway. How we set it in. And put these things in. So it's looking like um, <clears throat> the understructure could be, a, say, a galvanized, and then the upper structure still be the wood. Yes, you're correct. If you remember my pictures, everything sits on these big galvanized cross beams and everything can still sit there. They can be drilled and fastened to it. Everything can be done except those little two by six cross beams. We should replace that we'll with something that isn't going to rust and, and leak down. I don't know if you got all that. However, I would like, if we're going to go into next year's budget, Somehow, can we get under Chet's authorization somebody like what is machine, his name? Machine engineering does that stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, machine. No, the guy that built it. Oh, Rusty. Spice, Rusty. Yeah. If he could come up, he built it. I saw the drawings. I saw his specs on it. He designed it all. No, he bid on it all when he put it in and pay him for a day or a morning to come up and say, could you give us a budget item of what you think it would take to rip this out, fabricate a new one, and put a, a galvanized decking floor? And he said, yeah, I think I could do it for, the contract bid on that thing was fairly cheap. I think they only, it's like 10 or 15, I don't have it right here, but I went, and it was a line item walkway per design. And it wasn't that much back then. Can I because, ask a question? Huh? Can I ask a question and interrupt? Uh, the, is there a reason that they went with wood? Yeah, to match everything else. See, that but, guy's railing came all the way down from the store and all that, and we just continued to match it. Because I just wondered for future, I mean, 
it would be costly, but to fabricate something out of galvanized whatever that would last forever. But the, the question, you don't have to worry about maintenance, you just, you know, because that's not going to rot. You know, long after we're all gone, it's still going to be there, but this is going to be an ongoing thing over the decades. Well, it lasted uh, 20 years. I, I was just wondering if they were, they built it out of wood for a future uh, access ability to do whatever there. I don't know because wood's easier to take out than when you have a railing like we have out here that's everything's welded. So I don't know. I'm just asking that question. Uh, aesthetically, yeah, I, you know, I, is it our responsibility as a county to make sure that we blend in with the fish town? I, I'm looking at the liability and the strength and safety of people using it. That's for future. So it's not going to have to worry about something giving way or rotting. That's all I'm asking. It's something to think about. I can't think of his name. Maybe I'm overthinking What's his name. Rusty Friel. Rusty. If you call Rusty and say, hey, Rusty, what would it cost for you to come up here, spend an hour and look at that and give us a budget item? And then we could go to chat and say, hey, we think Rusty would come up here for $500 or something. I don't know. And then getting getting that is similar to getting this saying, yeah, I think, because Rusty was real good in laying out our next budget of what it would cost to do this, replace the pistons, to do this. And he was real good there when we were trying to come up with the big budget items of what we're going to do in the next 20 years. This wasn't on it. He gave us an item of what it would take to sandblast and paint it. He gave us another one, what it would cost to dewater it. And he was pretty good. He might even do that from his desk. He's got the drawings on it. Does he still have the drawings? Well, he I guess I assume different he does. Com different company. But uh, if not, we could mail it well, to him. Well, uh, Pat Machine has the drawings, right? I yeah. don't know. But I, they, uh, I brought Rusty up because he was the one that built it. I know, but I'm just trying to locate a digital form of the drawing. The one Jurace oh, has I, those originals. He's got drawings. Jurace got would drawings. have originals, but I don't know. If Rusty's with them. Fisher. Yeah, I know. So that's, I remember that was kind of the... <laughs> but um, I got we the complete have, construction we, drawings and everything at home. Do you have a disc? Do we have a, di we have a disc, don't we? I might have a disc. So there'd be a digital format. I mean, I'll check. I'll check for digital. Check, check. For digital. So my request is that we ask Rusty whether so that's he would be interested in doing it, and then go to chat and say. Okay. So that'll give us a, a ballpark number to work with in for the fall. Yeah, if he says April. I can do it for twenty grand. April. Next meeting, we have to have a ballpark number. Because that's when Jerry's bringing his ballpark, and that's when you're going to bring your ballpark. You work with me, I'll talk with Rusty. If that doesn't work, we'll have to go somewhere else to get a ballpark for the April meeting. And all we would know from Rusty is, Rusty, if we asked you to replace this thing, uh, how much would it cost to give you us an estimate? So I could probably give you an estimate in two hours. You know, just yeah. 100 bucks The question an hour. I have for you is, do you want to look at a different material material for it or stick with what you have that's the question you gotta have because i can get some people out too to uh, what do you guys uh, what do you think what do you folks think how we should address that's a question i have about that i think you should look both ways well it's uh, replacing you know, it as it is with wood and and also maybe possibly something that's going to last permanent what Safe, the, safer too. What the, yeah, safer um, and longer. I know the wood has a fair amount of strength, and a lot of the newer products that are used for decking sure. aren't wood anymore. They're composite, mixture, composite. mixture of plastic sure. and wood. That kind Sun of gets at it and everything. Yeah, I agree. Does, they those, could make it look more woody, but are it's those? Not wood. Uh, sure. They're not as structural. Am I getting that right? So it would be uh, if we went to a different material like that, when it compromise the structure strength that the wood has, and it would be sure. a different, it would somehow different to put it together. Okay. 
Well, then maybe we, when we get on the phone with him, we should ask, do you want to come up and look at it? And he might have some well, other Adding idea. to I'll that. Give, I'll give Rusty a shout and pick his brain. Right. Adding to that, you got to, we're going to still consider the access of this too, the access point to get down to work on dewatering too. So there's a couple things. Well, that's here part that, of that lift out grade. Well, that's what I'm just right. saying. So I rest my case. So you're going to pick up. I'll pick, give Rusty a call. I like that. You can sure. pick at his brain. Pick his brain a bit. It's all the tools I have to throw into the gears. So <laughs> things turning. But uh, well, it's good. It's a good discussion. No, no, Now's the time to think about it. Sure. Not later. Now we're looking at a replacement. And now it's the time to ask the question. So we've got two of those coming. Some dollars will be coming at us next meeting in April, and then we can uh, ideally figure out what our budget's going to be. Um, any other things, Jerry, that we need? Um, looking at 2023, we got the roof, we got the walkway. I think we're in pretty good shape. Um, anything else comes to mind? Put a dollar figure on it and bring it to the April meeting. I went over the budget before we came here, and we didn't have anything slated for the next couple of years of stuff other than maybe look at then the roof. Right today, and then right? this uh, walkway was not in our big, long five-year plan. But all we got is routine maintenance the next couple of years. So this should fit. OK, anything else? on? The budget discussion. <clears throat> Seeing none, we can move on to public comment. Seeing none, authority member comments, anybody? Hearing none, I'd entertain a motion. I move to adjourn. Second. Word adjourned. Thank you for being here. Thank you for time. Oh, oh, oh. That that bailed, Greg, you bailed me out. Yep. Full lunch now.